why am I sitting in front of this big tower of empty spools and empty boxes? You might wonder. It's because I had to reorganize my filament shelf. You know, my stock is limited. As you can see here, I only have this shelf and it was full at a time, you know, and I started adding filament spools all over the entire room. I was quite fed up because it looked very unorganized. In my shelf, I think you have the same problem maybe. Most, many of the spools were only half full or less. And some of them I had not more than 100 grams or less. And I thought I have to change something. Then I remembered, hmm, I could do something with a master spool system. You know, two years ago, Richard Horn came up with the idea of just buying refills. I'm a big fan. I made a video about it. And um, I looked up what different filament, uh, you know, master spool systems are available. And I found this system here, which I already used for dust filament spools. And the handy thing about this here is, and I will put all the links that I'm going to talk about now underneath the video. So the good thing about this, this system here is that you can take it apart. As you see, there's a handy dandy tool that you can use to, to take it apart. And these, these coils in the middle are exchangeable. They're also available in different widths. I created my own one, but I found out in the meantime that uh, the guy who creates the system, he also created a, a, skinny, a skinny one. And you see here, this is the one that I made. This holds uh, 500 grams. There are lots of companies that already sell 500 grams, but I think not in coils. So I did. I made this one to, to wind up the half empty spools that I had on this one. This is still a little bit skinnier than the original one. But if you take a look at Filamentum, for instance, or Filament uh, PM, is it Filament PM? Yeah, they have these wide spools, so even there you save lots of space but to save even more I found this system here these are two halves you just snap them together you print them you print every half by itself and then you have to use a wrench and then you snap them together the spools are created in SCAT uh, I don't know how to use SCAT, but there's a little tool that helps you to, to do it and to, to create it very easily. I don't, I didn't use any tool for the, the rewinding. I just did it by hand in front of the TV in the evening. It was a kind of training for my arms. This is really impressive. If you take the normal, the normal spool here, as you see here, it's about half the width. And this one here can hold approximately 200 grams and the wider version that I created if you really make it full it holds up to 500 grams and as you see it saves lots of space and all of a sudden I was able to put all the filament that I had in the entire room in the shelf yeah what am I gonna do with the empty spools they're not gonna be thrown away I have extra ones here that I had in the cellar. These are going to be used in a project because the, the new makerspace in Liechtenstein that we're going to open up this year, we're going to be part or do we want to be part of the precious plastic movement which gives you good ideas what you could do in order to recycle plastic that you otherwise would throw away. So you could melt the plastic and then press it in forms to create furniture or other stuff, you know. Or you could create filament. We want to try to create filament. Let's see what we come up with. I will keep you updated <laughs> once it's set up. You know, in the future I only want to buy filament on coils, but I was wondering, hmm, how many companies are still selling refills? 
and I was quite astonished but because the the companies that create filament only on coils it didn't decrease as I thought uh, they increased it is wonderful to see because the movement came from Europe thus filament was the first company then I I think the next one was uh, at North. Unluckily, they, they stopped selling refills. But I was quite impressed that uh, there are some companies now in the US and Canada that also started creating coils. I will put the full list under the video. It was also wonderful to see that not only 1.75 millimeter is created, but also 2.85. There are also some companies that create shredders. On extruders, I found four of them: three Devo, Filamaker, Nostec, and Filabot. I don't know which one we're gonna buy because it's not um, our money that uh, we are spending; it's the money of the owner of the makerspace, so he has to decide. Yeah, so I'm very happy that uh, now my room looks much more tidier than it did before. Maybe you should also take a look at your filament stock and please share with me how you are reorganizing it, how you are saving space and what you are going to do with your empty spools. A good side effect of me respooling all these spools is that I could weigh the empty spools and I will put the, the weight under this video so you can take the, the ones that you have and just put it on a scale and then you can find out how much you have left. Great, isn't it?